Vietnam veterans got a warm welcome home at the Victory Apartments after that long day of being honored. Veterans say it's a nice sentiment after not being respected when first serving. Newswatch 7 and 9's Jessica Perez has their reaction. Veterans came home to a big production on D-Day. <laughs> Cheerleaders, community members, and apartment staff welcomed them as they stepped off the bus one by one. My I was just seeing the balloons and everything, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, but it was, but it was, it was very nice, very kind, and very, uh, uh, we felt great. Conrad McSwain is an Air Force veteran. He served in Thailand supporting ground efforts in Vietnam. When he came home, it wasn't a welcome like today's. I deliberately did not wear my uniform in public because of the, uh, the bitter feelings towards uh, uh, military, military people. He says now that's changed. It's kind of like the old saying, if you go and buy something from a store, that folks will tell you to have a nice day. Uh, now it's overkill. It's uh, uh, thank you for your service. McSwain says he doesn't know if people always mean it, but he's happy to have served his country. He's one of 14 veterans living at Victory Apartments who took a trip with Daughters of American Revolution. The complex works to prevent homelessness among veterans. They visited the new Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Papillion, stayed for the ceremony, then attended lunch in their honor. I attended the groundbreaking a couple years ago. And I actually awoke in the middle of the night with the idea. Glenda Irish with Daughters of the American Revolution says it took two years to plan. But all the work was worth it to see the look on veterans' faces. The ones that we took out today, their their demeanor, their facial expressions have changed from the time we picked them up this morning until we dropped them off this evening, this afternoon. McSwain says it was fun, but he's all tired out. It was uh, wonderful, uh, but it was long. <laughs> Are you pretty tired? Pretty tired, but I enjoyed it. Jessica Perez, KTV News Watch 7.